with each touch. Disclaimer, this video, I don't really know my shit. I learned how to play accordion on my own. I don't do things by the book, so to speak. So by watching this video, you understand that you open up and play with your accordion at your own risk. So if for some reason your buttons here aren't working smoothly, we can take this off and mess around with the buttons and then we can put it back on after we clean it up and the buttons will work. Let's take a look. So that's how the reeds work. Kind of neat, right? Can you see this here? So look, now is with... So now they're all closed. Right here, they're all off. Okay, now we just have one on. So you understand how that works now. You see how these buttons correspond to a lever that simply just flip a switch here. Is we have these three little metal levers that correspond with the button pushes and they move over depending on the button. So see what happens here is they turn around in the back. So here we are on this side. Each button creates a different configuration for the lever. Now as you can see, this button isn't pushing all the way. That button's a little stuck out. They have different things going on here. I think they should both be like that. There's a nice, there's a nice click here. They should both kind of be like that. This one doesn't have a good click. Neither does that one, neither does that one. So what we'll do here is is we'll open this up. You have to be very careful when you're opening up your accordion because if you don't put something back the right way or you fuck something up and you don't have an accordion master in your city somewhere to bring your accordion to get fixed, then you might be out of an accordion um, until you make it somewhere where there is an accordion master. Now, accordion masters are not always easy to find. There's an old adage, when the student is ready, the teacher appears. That's kind of how it works for accordions. So you admit to the universe that you need help, that you can't do it alone and the master appears. Okay, so this isn't working. Um, let's see, maybe there's another solution to be done. These button pushes. Oh, they don't even push now. Oh, because I'm on the wrong side, okay. Oh, there's a lot of screws in there. I actually didn't see all these screws. There's too many screws here. Um, that's beyond what I'm comfortable with and I can't even unscrew one. So this means that I'm giving up and I'm not going to be fixing that button. That's okay. You gotta put this back on, okay? Uh, if you fix your buttons, I did not fix the buttons. I push the middle button to align them all up. And can we see this here? They're all aligned. Get in there. I don't know if the light will match, but we see all of the switches in there and see how they have a hook? These things have a hook, okay? So you take that hook, all three hooks, and you make sure they're behind. There. So now, you get that in there, and you see what happens. It's switching, it's pulling the levers. Kind of like how we messed around with earlier. See how it's pushing the levers? with each touch. Okay, so once that's back on there, you can pop this back on. So, just a, in, in sum, in conclusion, just remember that yes, the accordion's kind of scary, but uh, nothing's impossible. So you can do it on the keyboard side, it's very similar. 
on the Stradella bass side. We'll get to that in another video. So, so that's how you do it. So that's how it's done. Hope you learned something from this. Remember, always be very careful with your accordion. You don't want to mess things up. You don't want to lose anything, especially if you don't have the means to get it repaired by someone that knows their shit. That said, don't be discouraged from developing a relationship with your accordion. As the intro video of this channel stresses, you have a relationship, stresses, you have a relationship with your accordion. You need to treat it as you would a lover or a baby or something you want to take care of and nurture and keep healthy. Take care, leave your comments if you're interested in more content, and uh, see you next time. Much love.